Hey, Nuss Hyena here, and for today's video, we have a super original idea, which is, of course, wearing all of my fursuits. I thought I would try out this very well-known YouTube fursuit video format because I have a bunch of fursuits that I've accumulated in my last seven years of being a furry, and there are two fursuits that I have never shown you before, two full fursuits that I want to showcase. So for this video, I'm gonna put on every fursuit I own, I'm gonna talk about its features, what I like about it, and what I think could be improved if there is anything. And this is of course as part of an effort for me being more open about myself. I owe it to you all who have been watching me and supporting me for years, so get ready for some fursuit wearing. Yay! So I'm gonna put on five fursuits today in order of most known to most obscure. So of course the first fursuit we're gonna put on is, of course, my hyena, Nos. Okay, so let's suit up as Nos. I suited up in another video, but it will be fun to put on my fursuit without any heckling. Enhance! Nos is a six-piece suit. He has a head, a bodysuit with a back entrance zipper, two paws, and two outdoor feet. So I'm gonna try and zip him up. Um, Darby, love you, Darby. Darby. <laughs> so I just left the room so Darby could help zip me up. So pros of having a back entrance zipper, uh, it looks nice on the front. You don't see any obvious uh, zipper line or anything like that, but it does make it harder to put on. I used to put a lanyard on my back zip, but the force that comes with the lanyard can wear out the zip. So now I just get people to zip me up because reaching behind, now that I've been in the gym, is just impossible. So yeah, so really like the bodysuit, like the pecs and the abs. Next, we have to put on our first applause, which uh, aren't fully brushed, but we're just doing it for a demonstration. And I love this fursuit. It was made by, of course, Roofer in October of 2016. So it's almost gonna be like six full years of this fursuit. And uh, I will eventually get a new Nas Hyena suit, but he's, Awesome. Uh, he nailed the expression. He's just, he's got those hyena, classic hyena ear shapes. It's just a very, very fun suit to wear in V. And uh, I'm very, very grateful to have this fursuit. So yeah, you got these uh, parade feet. I probably need new feet paws because they've had some wear in the 20 to 30 cons I've done with us. So they're very comfortable. Um, different fursuit makers have different preferences in terms of what goes in the feet paws. Uh, this one's cut like kind of a soft plush slipper style. Oh, and then let's talk about the head style. My head is pretty big. I'm almost certain it's a foam base. It's nice and soft. It's nice and durable. It's held up well. When I transport him, I carry him on because he is a little fragile, I would say, just because of the shape of the head. But I mean, he's so fun to wear and it's just so cool to see your fursona realize it in real life. So of course, this is my first fursuit, Nas Hyena. Okay, now we gotta like dance and stuff. And oh my legs hurt from squatting, oh my gosh. Now, let's go into a deer. Yay! <laughs> okay, next up we have Gideon the Deer. He is, uh, I gotta look at the camera. <laughs> Gideon the Deer, he was made by Sticker Suits in 2018. I managed to snag him, he is a pre-made. So I forgot to mention uh, what types of suits these were. Nuss is a commission from a ref sheet. This is a pre-made. So when you get a pre-made fursuit, it means that the character is up for grabs and the maker came up with a character you didn't but you can adopt it and make it yours. And that's exactly what happened with Gideon. I bought it from Stinker Suits. It's a partial, uh, he has a tail as well. He has a nub somewhere. Uh, I'm not wearing the nub today, just showing you what I usually wear on videos. So I'm gonna put on Gideon, it's gonna be very quick. But I like to wear a um, long sleeve shirt with him because he only has um, very short paws. So I'm wearing the sweater, forgot to wear pants, but you get the idea, so. For what I paid for it, um, very, very reasonable. He has angry eyes too, the angry eye option. And he's just a fun partial to wear. Uh, one of the ears, this ear needs to be fixed, so I need to like sew and glue it, but right now he's just kind of hanging there. He has a descended uh, deer ear from his uh, last traffic accident, but this is Gideon. Hey guys, it's Gideon. You haven't seen me in a video recently, because viewers deemed me too annoying. 
Just kidding. Nas is running out of ideas, so I'm sure I'll be back soon. So yeah, this is a really fun suit to wear. Um, it's just a fun little deer. Great expression. Um, a wonderful, wonderful suit. And uh, great job by Stinker Suits. I don't believe they're an active maker anymore, but uh, made some really awesome suits, and I'm glad to have one of them. So yeah, that's Gideon. Yay! Don't know why I'm doing Gideon. <laughs> Yay! That's a Gideon. Yay. <laughs> okay. Okay, next up is my Fox Partial that I bought for the channel, and his name is Curtis. Look at this cute little fox. He is a Bycats for Cats who has made a lot of suits. He has pretty distinct of a style to make for Bycats for Cats. I bought this second hand, so this is one of my first suits that had a previous owner, a different persona name. So typically when you buy someone's existing fursuit, because you're not their fursona, you typically have to name it a different name. So I gave this fox the name Curtis, it just kind of stood out. So Curtis with a K, he's really, really gay. Um, so I have my little tail here, and of course, he has a fan inside. Um, I think it does work actually, I just haven't used the fan because I don't really wear him around cons or anything like that. But look, he's such a cute fox. He's got a tail, he's a partial, and he's just a fun guy to wear. So, very easy to put on. Fun thing about partials is it's so easy to slip on. So Curtis has arm sleeves, and I think this is the best type of partialing where you have the faux fur all the way up the arm. Despite you being in partial and having clothes, it just creates that extra level of realism, which I love. So look at him. Look at him with these arm sleeves. I've never taken Curtis to a con. I'm not sure I will unless it's a driving con because uh, I just have a bunch of fursuits that I know if I bring to a con, I won't wear it. But yeah, this is Curtis. Really no complaints about the fursuit. Yeah, he's very durable. You can like really whack this suit because there's a helmet, some kind of uh, martial arts helmet inside. So this, this guy is durable. You could like meet him across the room. Not that I would try, but this is built solid and uh, just very cute, nice expression, good vision. Just a lot of fun to wear. <laughs> I don't really have too many comments except he's a cutie. I wish I had a full body suit for him, but you know what? He is so cute regardless, so. Let's do a little bit of Curtis. So Nas forced me to be in this video, but look at me, I'm the most fabulous fursuit in his collection. I'm the prettiest, and the sexiest, and I'm the foxiest. So, you probably haven't seen Gideon and myself in a video, that's because uh, Nas was working on himself, but it's okay because you're gonna see more of us. We're gonna do a skit coming up soon. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm gonna be the most fabulous on the channel like I always am. I'm just so excited to be a cute little gay fox. <laughs> so I am a bi guy, but Curtis is very gay. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to add to that. Yay! <laughs> awesome! Look at these foxy fox. Foxes are cool. There's a reason why foxes are the most popular. They're just fantastic. <laughs> okay, next up is a suit most of y'all haven't seen before, and it is a dragon, and he is made by Noble Wolf in 2017. He's very fun to wear. He's very form-fitting and hugs the body. So this is Zorks the Dragon. He has a back entrance zipper, a lot of muscle padding. Um, he's much more form-fitting than I remember because I've done a decent amount of gym work, so he's like really hugging the body. Fun to hug and squeeze people in, I'll tell you that. So he is also a six-piece suit like Nas. Um, once again, the maker is Noble Wolf. He makes some interesting fursuits to say the least. Ah. Also, one detail about Nas I glossed over is he has a moving jaw. So Zorx also has a moving jaw. Look at him. Look at this cutie. I love moving jaws because your mouth moves when you talk, and there's an extra realism to it. But it's just a fun little aspect, fun little feature. Let's get these hand paws on. So this is one of the first suits I had in my dorm when I was a college student along with Nas. Look at this guy. So he's secret. And one of the reasons why he's secret is I guess I was a little shy showing off this part of myself because there's no hiding why you want to get a fursuit like this. So you are really saying, I want to be buff, I want to be big. And for me, it's a little embarrassing maybe. It's not embarrassing anymore, but that's the whole reason why I didn't show up this suit because, you know, having such a hyper-masculine fursuit, I used to be like, oh, what are people gonna think? But then I've shown it to friends and other people and they like it, so it's really reassuring to know that even the more boisterous, outgoing fursuits that you have, uh, people will support. Because once again, furry is just all about self-expression, so why not have a fursuit 
that lets you be whoever you want to be. Like, I'm not ever going to be this muscly in real life. I'm not ever going to have pecs and abs and biceps and shoulders that look this swole. But in my dragon fursuit, I can look as buff and as muscly as I want to be. Also, look at this guy. The tail. Yeah, see? Yeah. But he is a fun-ass fursuit where he overheat so quickly. And I've worn him around uh, cons a couple times. In fact, I actually wore him to Hofbra House uh, one of the first times I hung out with a con with some of my best friends ever. <laughs> so yeah, this is yet another first year I have accumulated over the years. Um, uh. <laughs> okay, we have one fursuit left before I've shown up all of my collection, and this is a rhino. And this rhino was made by C. Rex Play, another fursuit maker who makes some very interesting fursuits. So, we have our rhino body. So, this is another suit that I bought secondhand, so there was an already an existing owner. So this is a um, seven-piece suit. One had two paws, two outdoor feet, a bodysuit, and of course a tail. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about Nuss, um, he has an attached bodysuit, which is great for easy putting on. Like, I can put on Nuss in less than a minute. But when it comes to washing a fursuit, it does uh, make it harder when there's an attached tail, because typically you don't want to soak a firm tail too much. That's what I've heard. I am trying to get in shape to fit this guy. My arms are starting to catch up. Um, I need to work on the chest. He is a little baggy on me, but uh, I barely wore him because before I did this big stint of gym work, I barely fit into him. He was very loose on me. He's getting less loose and that's uh, what we like. Okay, so this is a front entry zipper. Um, it's a little interesting how he does it because it's not through the line in the middle of the bodysuit, which is typical for a front entry zipper, but it's on the sides, which I think is smart. Um, actually, some spandex lycra suits, especially like Spidey cosplays, they actually take this kind of form where you sort of zip around the sides rather than straight through the middle, typically in the back. And also, there is a bunch of insert foam padding. This is not my muscles. I wish it was. Gosh, I wish I was actually this muscly in real life. That would be awesome, right? So. Let's be a rhino. And once again, this is another super hyper muscly fursuit that I was a little embarrassed to show off because of the hyper muscliness, because once again, no hiding what you're into if you have a suit like this, right? But also, um, just this being very baggy on me, he's getting less baggy and less baggy by the day. This reminds me of some mascot suits. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, I gotta wear him like this. It's very, very tight, very form fitting. I'm a little bit of a small fit for this guy, but it doesn't matter, he's still an awesome puppy rhino, and I really do love all the suits in my collection. So yeah, this is an older fursuit, uh, but he's very fun to wear, I love his physique, and he's just really fun to be. So yeah, I posted this on Twitter and people were like, oh, he looks like a Spider-Man villain, which is kind of right, he kind of does, but look at him, look at this buff boy. It's very queer, this is a very queer video. <laughs> this is just my form of self-expression, this is the unique and wild and interesting way I like to express myself. I feel really comfortable wearing an animal suit, specifically a fursuit, and it's just a really fun way to be something different and forget about the world for a bit, and it's always a thrill to look in the mirror and see that you're covered from head to toe in a different form. One day I'll fit him bigger. One thing I could do is you see that this slack here, right? I probably should get some kind of muscle undersuit just to fill him up better, but I do want to get jacked. More jacked out of suit too, just to play the part that much better. So yeah, so this is... Okay, so that's today's video. A nice, fun, little look at all the suits I have. I did show off two of my suits, which for a long time I would consider secret. Not mentioned are my kangaroo, which I got before all of them, and then my mysterious wolf suit is in storage. Definitely need some refurb, but uh, I got him before all these five suits as well, so God. I have been in furry for seven years and I've accumulated seven fursuits, so you can see why I got into it. <laughs> so yeah, um, Buff Rhino out.
But thanks everyone so much for watching. We are going back to regular uploads. I am planning to upload at least once a week. This is a nice fan. Once a week unless there's a con or something going on, but I am really trying to get back to regular uploads. I love this setup. Um, I really feel motivated and inspired to do YouTube again, and I appreciate all of my supporters, especially my patrons' patience as I took a lot of time and work on myself. I really do feel like I can present a real or true version of myself. That's exactly why I'm doing stuff like showing up in my muscly fursuits amongst the other ones. And God, that's a nice of you. If, if only I had this physique in real life, right? That's, that's what we're working on, right? If only I had this like chiseled, um, muscly presence in life. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, as I approach uh, 30, this is my way of aging gracefully. Um, not so much the first, it's first, it's nice too, but the, the muscle part. So, hey, stay tuned for next week. Should be a skit. I'll catch you next time. Yay!